Hey, what's up everybody, Sarah here. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to learn about equity research. I'm gonna suggest some free resources, and this is made for anyone who is interested in getting a job as an equity research analyst or learning how to do equity research models. So I'm gonna suggest that you establish a Twitter account. It is for free, and you can see here I am on my Twitter, and I would suggest just following some of the major sources such as Seeking Alpha. So there's a lot of investment insight that people are always publishing on here. You know, you can follow some of the individual stocks and this is a publishing, so basically Seeking Alpha is like a publishing platform for independent people that just want to get their views out there. So like, for example, here, look, you can cover like, you can look at like a whole market commentary. I mean, that's pretty valuable right then and there, right? So what's really important though, is if you come here to who to follow, what Twitter is doing is because Twitter wants to engage people better. They're telling you who else is commenting on th this topic. So like there's power lunch you could follow. There's, you know, this person looks like some kind of an editor at CNBC. There's Minionville. Minionville is really interesting you know they've got definitely some kind of independently thought of things Def, you know i don't think they're uh, necessarily like the mainstream media but then there are also our mainstream sources such as like you should go to like you know bloomberg markets and just start following as many of these sources as you can right and and that's how you could just stay up with the news this way now the other thing is you do want to consider much like Minionville, there are people that are analysts that are actually publishing. So for example, Stock Cats. Stock Cats is kind of a very, I mean, they're even saying that they're publishing market satire. Um, very common sense, very kind of critical opinions of popular media topics in finance. And I think it's really important to at least pay some attention to these people because they're definitely not the mainstream view. You know, you can see that there's, let me see if I can find a, um, a good posting for this. So economists are terrible at predicting the non-farm payroll number. And I mean, look at, there's 24 comments on this. So Stock Cats has said this and then the other people are commenting on it. I mean, some people are just being funny but you can actually learn a lot because it's obvious that these people are, um, you know, very informed and they're obviously like, a lot of them are, it seems like people that work in the industry or tend to know a lot about it. So this is a way to kind of get into the minds of the people that are experienced, more experienced than someone who's just starting out. And I think it's like another one here is, um, Another person didn't know this is more like on the wealth management side, I think. Okay, so Ben Carlson, I think is a, he's more on the, he works at a wealth management firm. So if you're interested in wealth management and buy side research, then he would also be a pretty good source as well. Um, you know, some of the stuff is kind of fluffy, but then, I mean, look, you know, he's talking about, they are talking about endowments and size of endowments. Like this, you know, you, if you're a research analyst, you really would want to know some of the larger, larger kind of ideas and topics about the, the clients essentially of your equity research service. And so I think that this would be great information. Um, yeah. And then some of this is just fluffy, but like, I mean, also look here, there's, he's posting about, he's posted this here and then you could see like, I mean, look, like 65 people retweeted it. And then this person, this is an interesting question. Okay, now do one without buybacks. It's, that's interesting. You know, this is the level of detail that I think the mainstream media doesn't necessarily cover and definitely some interesting angles to consider here. So anyways, I hope that this video was useful and I'm definitely going to be posting a lot of about this in the future, I think. So, you know, come here for your equity research analyst tips. And I will hope that I hope that you will subscribe and that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.